Hello, Urban Rivals player. I'm Rowdy, Masters of Battle, and I am here to help you navigate the app for Urban Rivals through this simple guide on how to use the Urban Rivals app. Some of the contents I will cover is on how to build a deck, selling and buying cards, looking at missions, buying packs and collector chests, and also some fights using mythic cards. Without further ado, let's get started. Any good player would want to know how to build a deck. And so, you can select the cards option. Select a new deck. And then you can give your deck a name. With that, I've just created my deck. However, there are no cards and a deck cannot be validated without the cards. So, I will use some of my features. Here, you can roll and select the different clans you want to use. As you can see, I have a lot of cards I can select. But I want to select from the Frozen Clan and the Junks Clan, so I'll select the Frozen Clan first. Of course, there are a lot of cards, and filters are very useful. You can use them to narrow down what you have. And also, you can use the filters to put cards back up for reference. Here I will restrict to the danger zone and now add my cards. You can scroll left and right, select. And if there's a card you do not want in the deck, you could tap on them and then remove the card. You can also check what game mode they're applicable in once you finish the deck, but without the eight cards, there are many choices. Now I'll pick the second set. EFC leagues use 25 star decks, but as you can see, I have a 26 star deck. You can also tap in the card. I will first remove the 3 star version and then put the 2 star by tapping it. Now that we have the deck ready, I will save it. To increase the options of cards we can play with, one option is to buy cards, as you just saw with Sticko. There was a sell option. To sell a card, we can sell... It will tell us the minimum price we must put the card at. And then we can put it on a public sale or a private sale if we know any player that we would like to sell the card to. And with that, my card is on sale. However, the next thing we want is to actually buy cards. To buy cards, we can use this option Rouse. Now, say I want to select a card. I can use the market to check by price and missing, and then the search button. I can also check the arrow if there's any cards I want. And I can use 
the show offers option to see the prices of various cards I want to buy and the sellers. If I don't want a card, I could of course just type an option in. For example, then I can check the offers for the card. To buy a card, I just press the buy option and then select OK. With that, I just got the card. Now let's go to the next part. The shopping card option. To select a card, we can browse through the various options here. The New Bloods are the latest 35 cards available. The information can help us determine whether we want to buy a New Blood or not. In addition, we can also select the Elite option. The elite option will give us the, ch the chance to select our cards from clans. I would pick clans that I would not be able to access easily or think are good. With this, I'm going to select my four clans. Once I've selected my four clans, I will pick the buy option. The elite pack will show us what cards we got. With that, we've got some various cards we can use. In addition, we can also buy a collector. A collector card is something that is not available from the packs. You need 100 tokens. In this case, the tokens are shown from above. And I have 100 bronze tokens. I will select the bronze option and then buy the card. Awesome! And this is a good way to get cards that are normally not available. With this, we can increase our collection and improve our odds of winning against various opponents. But before we go on to the game, you might be wondering what the objectives are. We can select the target circle here and then look at our missions. From game modes, fights and even specific clans in addition for any mission we have we can tap it and then see the objectives of a mission if you want to see any mission you've completed you can also tap it and then read it through. With an idea of what to do on the game, the last thing that remains is selecting the fight option and actually fight. There are various modes out there. The plus button is there to check over the rules of the mode you are going to play. With that, I'm going to select Fight Club, and I've prepared another deck in advance. 
won't use the quick fight option for you wish to fight a specific opponent. Fight! Thought, the mid cards have an emerald skin to them which makes them stand out even before the fight. Mid cards are unique. Not only are they not available through packs that I've just opened or collector chests, but mids are only available in markets. And they're actually the rarest of the rarest in the live context. The rarity is above that of collector cards. The only way to obtain a mid card is through buying them in the market. Rather than this, you can also see the mythic cards in action. Look at that, this mitts emerald skin. These cards do really stand out. And the plus side why you might want to consider mythic cards is because in the end of a fight, they have a special bonus that enables them to grant you more clints will help you buy even more cards and experience which will increase your player level this I'm going to just rush through the fight and then hopefully we'll get to see the bonus Relax my friend, give me a breath. You can see, the advantage of using a mid is that it grants you a boost in clints and battle points. With this tutorial, you should now be able to navigate the Urban Rivals app once you download it. Hope this helps and hope you enjoy.